Hi there, it's Debbie, and today we'll be speaking about all the most interesting series that will be released in 2020. This year is actually full of entertaining news when it comes to series, with Disney Plus that has just launched with the mammoth size library, and we'll speak about that thoroughly later on in this video. There's some of the biggest and most popular projects are now releasing prequels and spin-offs on different platforms. Netflix is going stronger than ever. But let's get to things step by step. And remember, if you're also interested in checking out all the best films that will be released throughout the course of the year, I would recommend taking a look at our other videos here on Film Is Now. We have a specific one in which we cover all the most interesting cinema releases, as well as hundreds of other standalone videos about all the most exciting releases, along with compilations, in-depth video essays, trailers, behind the scenes material and so much more. If you want to keep up to date with all this, you want to know the latest news, make sure to subscribe and to tap the notification bell so you won't be missing out on anything. Also we would love to hear what you're most excited to watch so remember to leave a comment down below with your thoughts. So as I was saying earlier it's basically impossible to speak about series now without covering Disney Plus. As a matter of fact, although most of the series I will be speaking about today are released on older, better known, more, more familiar platforms, Disney Plus has recently entered the highly competitive world of digital streaming with what I could only describe as a blast. The new subscription service launched this winter and as its name clearly gives away, it offers Walt Disney related works. Now, when we speak of Disney projects, the first things that come to mind are the old classic films, uh, some of the new live action remakes, a few series, but you would never think of, for example, the National Geographic. The Walt Disney Company actually owns a ton of brands you wouldn't really expect, like Hulu, uh, ESPN, FX, so that really spreads out the map of what they can stream. Walt Disney obviously also owns Walt Disney Studios, under which is basically everything you can imagine, from Lucasfilm, the creators of Star Wars, to 20th Century Fox, and of course the Marvel Studios. So Disney Plus has been creating a ton of Marvel Cinematic Universe content for its viewers, including a bunch of series. For example, there'll be one called what if uh, that shows what would have happened if many of the biggest moments in the MCU had occurred differently there will be Wonder Vision based on Scarlet Witch and Vision and also very probably a second season of The Mandalorian which is currently streaming there will be spin-off series about Hawkeye Loki She-Hulk and many more a prequel series to Rogue One and an Obi-Wan Kenobi series, but all of this is at least in 2021. So what could we expect now? Well, the biggest release in 2020 is Falcon and the Winter Soldier, based on these two characters in the MCU and set after the events of Avengers Endgame. In addition to all the information fans will be receiving about that saga, uh, this series is also very interesting because it features many similarities with John Wick. John Wick is an action film franchise starring Keanu Reeves, who portrays an ex-hitman with exceptional combat skills. I think he could probably knock out a dozen people with something as blunt as a banana. Now the writer of John Wick, Derek Kolstad, is also the writer of Falcon and the Winter Soldier and he has stated that this new Disney Plus series will include a lot of references to the John Wick character development and the creative process of building that world. So I believe we should expect some pretty well choreographed action sequences. I will get back to Disney Plus in just a moment. Uh, for now let's take a moment to speak about good old Netflix, which has every year offers a ton of content, including so many series. This year, it will add on a lot of season to some of our old favorites. There will be uh, the third season of Anne with an E, uh, Bojack Horseman will come to an end with the second part of the, the final season. And then there are some series we are still not sure whether they'll make it into this year, such as Ratchet, which I discovered is basically an origin story uh, set before one flew over a cuckoo's nest, the, the famous film with a very young Jack Nicholson. But one series is sure to have made it, and that is a huge release in the Jurassic Park franchise. It is set during the events of uh, Jurassic World, the film, and it uh, speaks of a group of teenagers who end up staying at an adventure camp on Isla Nublar and exactly when the dinosaurs are loose. On the contrary of the regular Jurassic Park content, this is actually an animated series. And although uh, from what I gather this is aimed at a younger audience, I think it will gather 
all lovers of the Jurassic World franchise. Also because while nearly every huge franchise out there has had at some point some more or less commercially successful uh, series like the Star Wars ones, uh, this is the first Jurassic Park series Ever. So again, a lot of fans of all ages are sure to be drawn to it. Something um, similar, I guess I could say, will happen with uh, Monsters at Work, which basically is a spin-off series of Monsters Inc. And from what I gather, it is said just six months after the events that occur in that film. The Monsters world is based on the life of two monsters who work at a company uh, that produces energy via children's screams. Everything is fine until they accidentally let a kid uh, exit the normal world and enter their world of monsters in the city of Monstropolis. Now I said this series, Monsters at Work, could have some similarities to the to the Jurassic World series, uh, but with a lot of hesitance, because although most of us who saw the Monsters film back at the time are uh, no longer kids, and the film also generated that weird internet popularity films like the Shrek saga received, I still think this series will be heavily targeted to children. That doesn't mean I'm not going to watch it, I'm just saying that what well, that's what the difference could be. I am actually pretty excited about this. I mean, who wouldn't be about monsters? This series uh, will be streaming on Disney+, Plus, so we are returning to that area of the online streaming world. There's actually so much new content coming out on Disney+, Plus that it's basically impossible to keep up with all uh, the new information about the new releases, the release dates, there's just so much out there. I mean, in addition to uh, already produced content that just needs to be uploaded to the site, so hundreds and hundreds of the old Disney films, their old series, and then all the, all the previous like Star Wars works, there is a ton of new content, including tons of new series. I mean, it has even been announced that Lizzie McGuire will be back at some point. But as I was mentioning, earlier, many, many of these shows uh, have only been scheduled or they have just entered production, so it will be at least a couple of years before we get to see them. We are speaking of at least 2021. But picking for the information, I managed to find out a few things. For example, viewers will have the seventh season of Star Wars, The Clone Wars, which will actually be the last farewell season that will conclude the series. Now, setting Disney Plus aside completely, 2020 will open bright and early with the new season of Doctor Who. Uh, the British show that has been running for nearly 60 years. Doctor Who is a science fiction series based on the idea of different time lords who travel the universe and obviously get involved in all sorts of adventures. Of course, you don't have to watch nearly 1,000 episodes in order to catch up with the show, as uh, it also ceased production from around the early 90s to 2005. But most fans do recommend catching up with the series from the 2005 episodes with David Tennant as the Doctor. This year, Jodie Whittaker reprises her role as the 13th Doctor, who is also the first and only female uh, to take on that role. Because of the huge amount of content that this series offers, on which you then add all the special episodes the Christmas episodes, this is a diehard fan's paradise. So obviously you can understand the huge excitement towards this new 2020 season. Another British series which is not really spoken about uh, compared to these huge colossal names in the industry, uh, but which I think could be really interesting, is uh, Deadwater Fell, again starring David Tennant, one of um, Doctor Who's doctors. Now Deadwater Fell fits into the category of films or series that follow huge mysteries but which occur in small tight-knit communities where everybody knows everybody and where everybody believes they know everything about everybody. Well, as both fiction and real life has taught us, there are always secrets and things people hide. In these kind of stories, the twists are never ending, and also because the area in which the story is set is very limited, we get to know each and every character very well. So we make our assumptions and we begin our little investigation. In this series, a whole family is murdered, and the story follows the investigation into finding who uh, the culprit or culprit Brits may be. I'm particularly interested in watching this because David Tennant was already involved in something similar a few years back with Broadchurch, a series in which he was one of the protagonists in an investigation set in a very small uh, seaside town in Britain. And I've always considered him a great actor, even in more mainstream works and even in very limited roles such as his in the Harry Potter saga. So also after watching a ton of uh, new series uh, focusing on these closed communities with dark secrets, for example, 
example I could recommend Safe on Netflix. It is an incredibly gripping story. I'm excited to see how Deadwater Fell could develop. Now, while all of these series I've spoken about have a specific release date set in 2020, or at least we know approximately when they will be released in the year, there are still some series that are completely shrouded in mystery, uh, but we could probably expect them to be released this year. For example, I think we should speak about Game of Thrones and specifically its prequel series, for which we have no specific set date, uh, but many are speculating that the series will be released in 2020. Game of Thrones is one of the most commercially and critically successful series of all time. Now, when I say successful, I mean that it reached a point uh, in which the series um, was averaging 30 million viewers per episode. Averaging 30 million viewers per episode. And after such a huge success, the creators initially decided to make a prequel series called Blood Moon. It was supposed to be set around 10,000 years before the events of Game of Thrones in the Age of Heroes. But recently, even after the creator of the source material himself, George R. R. Martin, stated that the pilot episode was ready in post-production, it had already been filmed, everything was suddenly cancelled. But the disappointment of the fans only lasted basically a couple of hours because right after the, the cancellation announcement, a new prequel series was confirmed and that is House of Dragon. House of Dragon will cover the story of the ancestors of Daenerys around 300 years before the events of Game of Thrones. This new Game of Thrones series is just one of many that are rumoured to be released in 2020. For example, there is still a lot of mystery surrounding the Lord of the Rings series, which is in the works as we speak with a $250 million deal with Amazon streaming service. But we now would love to hear what you're most excited to watch. Is it Doctor Who? Is it something on Disney Plus? Are you a diehard Netflix fan? Or is it something we didn't cover on today's list? Let us know everything with a comment down below. And if you want to keep up to date with all the information on these series, as well as many, many more, make sure to subscribe and to tap the notification bell. And while you're there, check out our awesome new merchandise. You'll find all the details in the description box below.